And we trees and we flowers Have to stop and take me ganja link them over boa Give me a big head me no I no ziggy Don't give me no problem, just give me time no I no twiggy no No two pop, give me one biggie And if it bigger than biggie from a high grade Give me make me go, go from pass Go from pass, go from pass And then me puff and car Puff and car, puff and car And make me puff and pass Puff and pass, puff and pass And then me puff and car all right, guys, I'm here with Johnny B. Johnny's driving down the highway, so he won't be uh, enjoying the dabs that I will be enjoying. But uh, yeah, we're heading up to this new gondola. 
We're gonna do a puff Wednesday on a brand new gondola and it is the Squamish gondola that's heading up above the Chief and above Shannon Falls. I've driven by it a bunch of times but I'm pretty excited to get into it. And of course it's become a beautiful day here even though it was kind of rainy and miserable. It's sort of uh, just turned all around and kind it's of beautiful. beautiful. I got a sweater on, I gotta take it off, I'm sweating. Yeah, it's a nice blue sky up there, so. It's gorgeous. Maybe I'll set up the camera and take a highway dab. Highway dabs. Highway dabs, especially with highway dabs, sunroof. Ah, yes. The old sunroof Aruski. The old sunroof. Alright, so we're getting close. Just thought I'd show another little clip here. Just past Shannon Falls up here, and then we at the Gondola. You see the sky gondola right there, which is right up here to the right. Do it. All right, are we gonna do it? Let's do it. Okay, we're doing this, guys. Here we go. The purpose of the weed gave by this expression. The purpose of the weed let I view the time. A new Gandhi. I wonder, uh, yeah, this is interesting. Very excited. It is only here to do its purpose. Let's get some parking time. action going on. Ganja is not here to treat the, the mind. Here. Special closed parking lot. It is only here to do yeah, with purpose of dying. Look at that. Well, I imagine though the road is piece of box. Setting up the no wonder it was empty, eh? Rockstar. Man, we went on rims and get me off rims and fast that. Oh, very cool. Would you look at that? There it is, right there. Can get any better parking than that. Oh, that's Rockstar. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah, yeah, Right. So, uh, a couple of dabs, Johnny B. Let's do that. You got the sunroof open. Quite nice. You got the bubbly bubbles? I got some bubbly bubbly. This is what I have. There you go. You have a dabber. I have a dabber and I, I also have believe... I come fully stocked with pretty much everything. Dry sift, red tainers, full melt bubble. But, but I think what we really have to right now. Do you want Johnny to try B. some full melt stew stuff? Let's try full melt stew. Full melt stew is our friend Stu Block. Block yeah. owner. Well, how do you pronounce his last name? Stu Block. He is from the band Ice Maiden in Saskatchewan or Saskatoon. Yeah, he's actually. Uh, Either way, it's in Saskatchewan. Either way, it's in Saskatchewan. I'm not sure which area in Saskatchewan he is in, but uh, he's a full melt ambassador. He really loves the bubs and he really loves making the bubs and the dry sift and just learning about the resin. We've uh, kind of met him through um, Facebook. Uh, John met him recently when he went to Sask Saskatchewan. I keep having a hard time saying it. I know. Saskatchewan. Saskatchewan. And so he gave, uh, gave John some hash, and now John decided he was going to share it with me. So, Stu, we are going to try your full melt. We're very excited about it. It looks spectacular, like a 9.5 easy. Yeah, let's get that in there and show show them what that's... Can uh... you get that close enough there? A little bit. But, so... Um, and this is... Um... Which one is this now? Oh, you said it. It's a very unique strain. Not, no, no, Hog's Breath, but Hogs 90 or 73. Breath. Oh, that would be the 90. All right, so we are gonna, we're gonna torch up here. We're gonna torch up. We are completely surrounded by Asian people with cameras. Yes. We're comfortable with that. That's okay. I love Asian people. I actually have a license in my pocket. I love Asian food. I extremely love Asian. Well, I don't extremely love Asian. I'm food, a big sushi fan. I gotta say, like I've Jones out on the sushi pretty hard. We actually, yeah. No matter where we are, it's like sushi. Yeah, no, sushi. no, sushi's good. Last time when we met James from Method 7, I kept going on and on and on and on about sushi. Yeah, I remember. He was that. laughing at me. He's like, you want to go get sushi? Is that is that what you're saying? He said he wants sushi. I'm like, yeah, that's pretty much it. All right, so here we go, Stu. Mmm, very, um, what's the word for it? Got a lemon to it. It's very, very nice. How's that treating you? How's the palate on that? It's nice. It's um, 
it's subtle, yet strong at the same time. It's a satiating taste deep in my throat, but it's not a sharp taste. Very nice. Well, I happened to do a, just a little hit of the 73 in my pipe, and then I bottled her up and uh, brought her back here to smoke with you, my friend. Wow, huge appreciation. We love that. Well, you know And what? thank you, Stu. It was, um, it was, what well, he says, our inspiration. Sweet! So I'm pretty damn excited to get up on this gondola. It looks cool. <laughs> <coughs> Why don't we do that? Um, yeah, yeah, let's do that. Yeah, for sure. Can't wait to dab at the top of that thing. All right, so here we are. Heading up to the Chief. All right, so here's our ticket. It costs about 35 bucks, and it's going to be the ticket to get up there. All right, so here we go. Gondola. All right, shall we go in? How's it going, man? Fucking stoked! <laughs> I've never been up here. Oh, nice. I'm a local Sea to Sky resident. Oh, you have it's good fun up there. Yeah, I'm pretty excited. This is nuts. I've done backcountry back here on my dirt bike and sled, but yeah. not accessible via a gondola. You only have the whole, whole place to yourself as well. Oh, really? It's pretty dead? Yeah, just, I think with the rain earlier, it kind of put people off a bit, maybe, but... Yeah, we're filming for our YouTube channel. Oh, nice. Yeah. So it's perfect. It's sweet. We want it, we want it, we want to be all cozy by ourselves. Where are you from, man? Uh, New Zealand. Nice. Yeah. That's a good, beautiful spot. Oh, yeah. Not as, it's nice here, though. I like it, yeah. Oh, yeah, for sure. But, I mean, you definitely still have killer heli skiing and mountains. And... Today will be about 15 minutes. We're running oh, a little, time. A little slower today. Good. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. What is it usually, 10 or 12? Yeah. 10 minutes, okay. You no, 15 is great. For the nice ride. Yeah, you got to it's a 25. It's a good footage. Thanks, bro. Thanks, man. Why don't you sit over here there, Johnny B. And we'll get some, we'll get some of this sort of thing happening. Well, well, we made it. We're on the gondola. We got our own gondola. We're on the slow ride too, guys. Yes, he's all, he, the, uh, our New Zealand friend has told us that uh, we're on the slow gondola. He's uh, running it actually right from this little building here. Check that out. Yeah. You can see that little building there. Is that where you run it from? Yep. Nice. The drive station. Oh, cool. <laughs> all right, so. I guess first things first, Johnny. Let's uh, <laughs> take a good look around. Let's go take a look, good look around this <laughs> thing. And Make sure there was an all full of cameras, only ours is the camera that's going on. <laughs> As we were both doing it, that was funny. Oh, yes. Okay, well, here we go, everybody. Hitman gondola rides. Hitman 15 minute rides at the top. All right, well, let's have ourselves a little vape session, I suspect. Of course, I'm taking a pic. Okay, guys, so we are down to the wire. We've decided it's time to get this session started. Johnny B! Yes, my friend. Look at that gorgeous view. Dab's on the gondola? Look at the Sky Highway. I, I have mean, never seen it like this before in my life. I've, I've pretty much um, have never been up here. That's it. So it's cool as shit, dude. It's it's more than cool as shit. It is rocking. You can feel the wind blowing inside of here, so it's really nice. Oh. All right. Thank you, sir. Oh, it's not sticking. Here we go. All right. Here we go, guys. And actually, see, the best part about this is right now, as we're going to come up here, I'm pretty sure you're going to cap and you're going to see over the top here. It is so cool up here, guys. you got no idea. Actually, you do because you're here with us right now. And I guarantee when I'm hitting up the torch, Mark's going to show you what's sitting over there because that looks damn cool over there. It's, it's like, it's epic. Everybody's got a camera in their hand, which is really cool. Everybody's shooting film. Everybody's taking a look. See the sky highway, baby. 
I mean, this is, is some epic momentum. shit, dude. You know what? There's still a perfect dab on there. I think oh. it's best if we do small dabs and just oh, perfect. finish them off. So, Because as they go by, I don't want to be spoiling while people see me hitting this porch. Yeah, you're good. Yeah. You're doing good. Well, here this is go. beautiful, man. Look at this. Dabs in the gondola. Dabs for Johnny B. Get it onto that hot part of the nail. Oh, yeah. Really beautiful. Beautiful. <laughs> well, one more for the road. We're almost at the top, and uh, soon we'll be able to give you guys the panoramic view outside of this tiny little box. So, I'll see you up there soon. All right, we just came over the top. How cool is that? Look at the thing there, John, where we're going. I know. Beautiful. This is a nice little backcountry zone. Got yeah, the diamond gorgeous. head over there in the clouds. Wow. All right, well. People walking around on the trails. Yeah, I, I believe there's a whole slew of trails all around this thing. This, this really is to be an access point for hiking and uh, potentially backcountry ski and snowboard. Well, they got ropes going down there and everything. Look at that. Oh yeah, that's pro. That's 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 totally awesome. Uh, support my uh, red beard. Oh, look at those mountains back there. That's awesome. Well, we're gonna get some good views up here, Johnny B. So awesome. Yeah, hopefully maybe even if we go inside for a bit, some of this gray will blow over and we'll get some epic blue sky. Get some oh, nice blue having... Beautiful building up here. Holy Christ. We're, we're having lunch. Look at the top of that mountain. That looks epic. I, I know. Really I, I was it. just videotaping that one. Yes, this is this is exciting. I mean, it's not every day that you jump on a gondola and uh, go to the top of a mountain to uh, puff on some full melt uh, bubble. Totally. This guy looks like a happy jump. Uh, yeah. How's it going? Dude, beautiful. Right that was awesome. I like, wow, I've lived here my whole life and then I came up here. Yeah, wow. I'm a Cedar Skies resident, so I've been driving by this since it began and I, I'm, I really liked it. It's cool, eh? Yeah, it's and cool, now, man. We haven't even seen anything yet. Oh, there's a whole series of trails and access into the... Yeah, yeah, so you can, uh... There's a couple of... There's a smaller trail right here. Uh-huh. And so this is like 400 meters only. Oh, it's okay. called the Spear Trail. Oh, nice. Look at that! The trail that goes out there. Definitely on way that. nicer than that one. Yeah. And it goes out and there's a cheap, uh, the cheap viewing platform. Yeah. Oh, sweet. It's uh, 1.6 kilometers round trip back to here. And it's uh, really like kind of the closest thing that's you know quite beautiful. Yeah. And then uh, nice. Let's check out the suspension. Want to do those two? Some well, more, you know what? More we'll coffee a since you forgot your jacket. And all, all I know we totally did forget our yeah, jackets. Yeah, the, yeah. I'm like, and we're like, we're like. I don't need no stinking jacket. Yeah, thanks, man. Right. Have a good one. Any other questions? Come on, uh, okay, thanks. Um. So, what do you think? How do we get to the suspension bridge? Oh, right this way. Come on. <laughs> Are you kidding me? That's the first thing we're doing. Well, uh, yeah. I personally... It's true, you're right. And look at this, you have to go and check it out. Yeah, it's true. This is real nice. Real nice. <laughs> oh, <they're laughs> That was Co-Pilot we were tripping on. Hmm? These are all the names of the mountains. It was Co-Pilot, the mountain that you were like, look at that mountain top. Yeah, it's there. 
It's just hiding. Yeah, I mean, my God, this is a pretty sweet gig. I bet you... Puff Wednesday so far has been good, but we need to have a dab out on this deck. What do you say, John? I think uh, we're, we got some picnic tables right there. <gasps> Beautiful. We can sit down and... Uh, Dabnik tables? Look at, and they say happy share. I don't know. This is a pretty good zone right here. Yeah, but you do have all of the... The beautiful view. Oh, yeah, Johnny B. That's a good spot. He's like, oh, yeah. You got the tripod? No. Well, oh, we oh, forgot this guy. We're forgetting this. If we went, like, probably, like... Now, let's go have a 420 out on this bridge. On the bridge. On the bridge? On the bridge. Right now. All right, this is potentially the, uh... Johnny B. Hey, dude. What do you think of this place? This is amazing. Look at that beautiful view, eh? Oh, it's beautiful. Cool. And now we have the uh, empty bridge. I know. Wanna... Did you want to have a dab on the bridge, or did you want to dab over at the end of the bridge? Well, it's, uh... I think we'll dab. I, th I think trying to film dabbing on the bridge might risk us dropping the camera. It's possible. Which would probably be pretty epic once we discovered the camera and got the card out. Even we'd be like, yes. that was I'm still pretty dabbed up from the uh, gondola. There you go. And the car dab. Yeah, the car dab you know was what? good. I'll let you know when uh, the bones start hurting here. Definitely. So I guess they have a little trail up here that apparently goes about 400 meters just in a small circle. So we'll check it out, see if we can't find the ultimate dab spot. That looks like a path someone's already created. It's neat to know this is a new zone, and we haven't even figured out our secret spots yet. Oh, we're gonna find them. Of course we are. I'm looking up there, dude. Me too. Over here. Yeah, that looks like a good spot. Johnny, Johnny B says that's where we're setting up, and that's where we're setting up. There's another bench right there. Yeah, that view will be the back end of the mountains, pilot. Wow. Holy smokes, hey? This is great. Wow, look at this, man. This is gorgeous. Some top I think quality. It's about that time, guys. Yeah. I think it's about time to start pulling out. I got the 420 cookie munching. 420 cookies. I got, I got uh, 90 stew with me. Oh, I got the torch, the some, uh, nail, and the hitman. Nice. That's pretty much all we need there. And then, depending on which way the wind's going, which probably, if you do the lighting of this, behind this, in this sort of fashion. I think that'll be best. I can feel the wind coming from over here. Nice. I might even pull out the red beard and... Uh, see the spectacular see the view hit. out here, guys. This is called Squamish, British Columbia. I'm not sure if you guys can see the way the rays are shining through the clouds right now, but that is pretty awesome. This is a beautiful view. Yeah, it's quite a bit back in here. There's... Well, we're basically getting down to one... Co-pilot. One minute morning for 420? 418, getting down to almost the one minute morning. All right, well I have um, the dabber. You have the dabber. I, of course, is pulling out this. Look at this, guys. This is this awesome. epic. And we're just Beautiful. doing that to it right now. Boom. Boom, 
Boom. That's what he said. Boom. He goes, boom, boom, it's the raison. It's the raison. All right, well, one minute warning. We're sitting on a pretty hefty cliff right here right now. Just a matter of, uh, you want me to torch this bowl, buddy? There you go. Want to do that? You got that? I'm going to get the torch burning for you. Here, let me do that for you, buddy. I don't mind. Okay. That way you've, uh, and it's your hit. You you go first, bud. Are we going 420 yet? We have 419. Well, the wind's really coming in strong at that angle. That looks a little better. This is a... Uh, We're at the top of a bloody mountain here, folks. This is an easy business. This is, a, this is not easy business. No, it's not. Dabbing away at such heights. Oh, we should a quick be able to dab. There's another one left on there for you. And I'm just going to dab into 420. Right, it's 419. And... All right, there he goes. He's dabbing. Let's see if his time is correct. Ooh, he's taking a 419 rip by my accounts. What about yours? 419, that was Johnny's pre-420 rip. Look, it's just over now. He's gonna exhale his 420 rip. Yeah, you know. Did he get a rip? I got a rip. All right, well. I guess it's time for me, my friends. Give you a little bit of the view while I heat this nail. Of course, as always, we're always, uh, always dabbing, and, uh, there you guys go, it is 420, and, uh... It's the 420 <clears throat> rip! It's the 420 rip, uh, first gondola ride of many to come. Nice paper hit. Still real tasty and a bit of a bit of a smoky rip, but not getting the nail heated up. I think that A, for the next rip that we do, um, we'll fill the torch because it seems like it's seems right like now. it's a little bit low. Oh, okay, well here we go. Let's see what Johnny B says about that. That was well needed. Beautiful. <laughs> Excellent. Well, I'm really digging the Squamish gondola so far. The view is spectacular. It's unrecognizable by me. I don't, I've never really been in this zone. So I appreciate these uh, accesses. You know, I mean, most of the accesses for snowmobiling and dirt biking and such are given by logging roads and mining. This is nice to see tourism producing access by, you know, putting up a gondola. Yeah, they got a few warning signs around here. Seen down there yeah, so danger, nice. cliff area. So they want people to be very careful, but I mean, at the same time, they're not chaining it up here and trying to keep you out from kind of really exploring. But remember, always be safe in areas like this. And remember, uh, always bring hash, a beeline bong, and a dab rig. Don't forget the hash. Don't forget your foam melt. Don't forget your foam melt. So, um, oh. let's head back onto the trail. Huh. Look at this one, Johnny B. Another nice little bench. And you've got Skyline and Sky Pilot and Co Pilot. So cool. Dabs. Dabs. <sighs> Beautiful. Beautiful. Dabs? I mean, it's just quick and easy. Load me one up. I'll take a quick and easy. A little bit already in there. Perfect. That's quick and easier.
little bit harsh without the beeline, but... Uh, no, no beeline, no water, but you know what? Um, <coughs> get baked. Where you going, Johnny B? Where's your phone? Ah, the bubble. Johnny B left his phone. He hopes. You got it? Sweet! So let's see, I left my camera behind. There you go. You left your phone. Woohoo! So far, so good. So far, so good. Two for two, eh? We're doing fine. We're doing fine. Let's continue on, even though the back seems a bit noisy. I think they got their Jenny back. So I think we're coming right back around to the sort of entrance to the trails that he was telling us about. This is that short little 400 meter trail. Right at the base of the gondola. Kind of like that. And I don't know, what do you think, Johnny? Would we tell the audience that this is something that they should check out if they're on their way up to Whistler or they're kind of heading back through Whistler or ripping okay. through Squamish? Okay, it's really easy and simple, guys. If you're passing by this gondola, you got $35 in your pocket, get up here. Yeah, it's worth checking it's out. It's worth checking out. The view is spectacular. You can go on a nice little walk. You got short walks. You got long walks, mm -hmm. um, and it's a it's a day pass. Once Multi you're up vistas here, too. Once you're up here, you stay for the day. Yeah. Show up in the morning, have a great day. They got family passes down there. You bring your wife and a couple of kids, whatever. They got look like a pretty sweet deal. Or you could bring in, uh, your kid and a couple of wives. You can bring whoever you want to bring. <laughs> bring whoever you like. We support but, that. But but one thing you do have to do is you have to. Um, well, you know, it's, it's nice up here. It is really a beautiful, hey, if you want to get away, it's it's cheap and it's epic. Yeah, it is. I think we should walk in those other little short ones over there and see that other side of that mountain, I think. All right, let's go check it out. Yeah. Another place to maybe do a dab when my legs get a little bit sore. All right. Welcome to the Sea to Sky Gondola. Elevation, 2,900 feet. So not a, not a huge elevation. And then this sort of gives you the topography. Diamond Head Atwell Peak on the top left there. The snow peaked. This is Haybridge Ridge, Mount Haybridge, Ledge Mountain, Sky Pilot Mountain, and Co-Pilot, which is that real big one that, once again, when we first came up, we saw. Just to the top right there. And then uh, what else we have? We have uh, the Chief Platform, which gives you the Valley Point view and the Diamond Head viewpoint. It's really quite, quite a nice little... Uh, Nice little map. Here, just a second. <laughs> Alright, we're doing bag rips here. Johnny B doing bag rips. This is uh, just, you know, just regular old normal people kind of walking by. Johnny B's doing bag rips. He's got his bag. He's zipping it back up. People are like, what the fuck is that guy doing? Actually, they don't even care. But, um... Did you get it all zipped up, Johnny B? Yeah, you know what happened is... I so mean, tell us this. more about bag rips. Well, I just... Did I, I just show you came, bag rips? I don't know where it came from. I just thought I, about it. I used to do bag rips all the time with my Ruhr bag. I'm just wondering if maybe we did it in Amsterdam one day. I... It's great for wind. No idea, but I was just here and I thought of it and maybe it is, maybe it wasn't, but... Bag rips. Like, I'm looking around and... Well, the Ruhr's perfect because it's so straight and tall and the bowl sticks out at an angle. Oh, see, see that you can. So this was just a... This is a red beard bag. That still worked great. It worked pretty good. Dude, I, I thought it was good. So, uh, where do you want to go see next, Johnny B? We got about a half an hour to burn. Well, I think we should go take a look at the front and look down. All right, we'll do that. All right, well, that was, uh, you know, pretty heavy duty trail trekking there for Johnny and I, so we figured we might just stop and get another dab. Quick dabs, right? Yeah. Quick dabs. I think there's still a piece left on that. We got that. Yeah, I'll just just leave it. If you just leave it, perfect. it's my dad, yeah. Perfect That's, is perfect. Oh, so perfect. So yeah, the did the, the the bag rip and that was just uh, something uh, inspired to videos of the past. Yeah, I can't remember if we've ever done that in a video or not, but uh, I, I remember it's an old Amsterdam special, yeah. I'll tell you. Doing a, it on the tram with hash beam. <laughs> that would be fun. Yeah. Definitely. Well, look yeah. at these people. 
right. they wouldn't even know what you were doing. So of course, uh, you know what? You gotta get that in, and then you gotta hit that bubble when it needs to be bubbling. So of course, uh, you know what? You gotta get that in, and then you gotta hit that bubble when it needs to be bubbling. Tasty. Um, I'm gonna hit that again because um, most of it dropped on the picnic table. I did get a, a nice little bit of a rip, but we are fighting wind. I can do better. Yeah, I think if I position myself a little bit better here, I might be able to. I'm boring people. So you know, as always, um, if we're not being blatant about it. We're, not too. We're blatant. trying to be discreet about it, and it, <laughs> and it, it really comes down to um, well, we're still just eating too. That's boring. nice, isn't it? Oh yeah. Feeling that right there. Very, very nice. Yeah, this is heating up a nice, uh, better, even temperature. There you go. Getting that little color to it. Especially in the cold. Require a pretty hot nail to get the right hit. Yeah, it's really cool how they have this tram coming up to the very top of the mountain up here. It's the, the view and, and just sitting here on the back and then watching people come in. And, and really the, the, the amount of people coming up here. and it, It's really cool to see, actually. It's, uh, it's nice they gave us this nice little slice of uh, wilderness to come and take a look at. Yeah, it's not too shabby. Nice, nice to see at the beginning stages, you know, see what it's going to look like in a few more years and stuff like that, but, uh, yeah. It's you nice. Know, as you can see, he's just up there on the camera, there, you know, looking around. Cool. Very nice. Well, I guess uh, it's Johnny B's turn to have a rip. <coughs> we'll be putting that over there for him, and... I just have to time this all just perfectly. Yeah, and your, your hit's still on there, so... I got my camera out. I might grab a few snappy scenes. Just such a nice little little zone here. It's a beautiful zone here. This is pretty much my backyard, pretty much where I live, just a half an hour down the road, and it's I really can't express how strange it is to be in a place that's so close to where you live that you've never actually been to. Well, you know. you know what? You, like you said, you watched the construction of it. You asked them if they did a time lapse of it. Yeah, they said like they had a lot of good photos, so I'd be looking so forward be to really seeing those. So it'll be really interesting to see how that's all about. And sure. What they got going on. It's kind of cool. Bing, bang, boom. I mean, boom. What are we puffing on, anyway? Um, right now, that would be the watermelon. Okay, the Astro Boy. Astro Can't go wrong with the Astro Boy. Can't go wrong with the Astro Boy. Johnny B with the backlash of rippers. I'm gonna have to hold that one in for a bit, Johnny B. Let's see how long Johnny B can hold it in for. And pretend he didn't take a rip. <laughs> it's a good size rip. It was a nice rip. He did the nail up perfectly. This yeah, is a real nice uh, little zone for just coming and chilling. It seems real loose. No one's bothering us. We've puffed in, what, three or four zones so far? Five. No. One, two, three. Four, going for five. All right, well. Well, if we counted actually in the parking lot, right, getting on the gondola, so that's two, and we've done three on the mountain now. See, this is yeah. the great thing about being nice and uh, medicated. You don't have to remember so much. Yeah, we don't have to remember. Not that particular. I don't. I know that uh, pains has subsided in my body. Maybe a lot of you don't know this, but I myself have also broken many a bones from uh, my early days of being a skateboard uh, maniac, as well as uh, dirt biking and uh, BMXing. I broke 16 bones in my body. Snowboarding as well. Nice. Yeah, not yeah. too bad. Well, you know, not nice, but we talked about it, and this is the reason why uh, Mark is actually able to use cannabis legally and we're able to do what we do here every day. Mm -hmm. That's the best part about it. Yeah, who'd have thought it was such an incredible um, pain reliever or pain? I wouldn't call it a pain masker. It really does seem to just desensitize pain. It's uh, it's great. Takes my thought off of it. That's why the best. Thing I was trying to remember things. Like why? Ah, you know what? Pain's like I forgot what I was thinking. Excellent. Well, we're gonna go find spot number five. Of course, we'll bring you with us. We'll see you there. I guess.
one thing that should be mentioned here is that they got a really great little lodge, restaurant, cafe, bar thing up here. And uh, we got some french fries, some yam fries and some french fries. We got some mayo, some ketchup. And we're gonna, uh, we're gonna do what you do after four dabs in the forest. Come out down. Call it, um, well, lunch or dinner, maybe? I'm hopeless, I dropped my first fry. That's okay. Here I go again. Yeah. Well, it looks like it just started raining. See the drops here on the bar. Yeah, I see. We can see the black sky right behind yeah, us. Yeah, right it's there. definitely looking ominous. So, oh, it was fucking great. We'll probably have one more little session, the gondola. But uh, say goodbye to the view, guys, because we are out of here. Show them that view going down. We will. <laughs> ah, nice workers. So what do you say, down, dabs, you want to rip them through yours, you want to rip them through mine? Um, you can rip them through mine quick enough, probably. Yeah. All right, well, here we go again. I have the utmost faith in us. Here you go. Dabber to your left. Dabber to your left. Well, one of the things we find, you know, we show you we show you guys that we're puffing all over the place, but it's real easy to take a puff and enjoy a puff in a place like this and still blow it out the window and not, you know, hot box the whole thing and, and make it so it stinks for the next person. Yeah, a bit of a respect. A little bit of respect. Cheers, brother. There you go, buddy. Turn it around. melted off there perfectly, it just kind of dropped off. That was perfect, that was beautiful. And of course, there's actually even some people coming up still. Wow, absolutely spectacular. Can I do Mike from, uh, this is so good. Astro boy. I'll heat you up. Nice one. I'm gonna heat Johnny B up. I'm gonna go to the other side. Keep the other side of the nail up. Give you a nice clean freshie. Nice clean freshie. Yeah, once you get away from the wind too, you really can actually see the nail heating up. Pretty much know there's no one behind me. I'm gonna actually might even hey, uh, buddy. stand up for this one. Keep her going. Oh yeah. Booyaka. Oh yeah. Beautiful rock. Look at that bad boy. <laughs> Let me look out at the window here. Give them the clear view <coughs> of this awesome rock face. Man, this are some sick ridges in that thing. That's a nice climbing face right there. That's pretty cool, eh? So it's cracked and stuff like that, eh? Wow, oh yeah, oh yeah, you that's got some overhangs here too. Those are difficult. Pretty cool looking stuff. It's amazing how they just pick this area and put this ground up to put people up here to hike. Yeah, it is. It's pretty awesome. Well, I guess, uh, what do you say, Johnny B? Another um, Puff Wednesday complete? Hey, it might not be over yet. We'll see. I think see it's over. Things Thanks for watching, guys. Peace. Keep puffing. Ganja is not here to trick the mind. It is only here to do its purpose of dying Well I imagine down the road there be some cops Setting up them plot and scheme and all the wrecking all the be traps But you man a rass Man weed rems down rems and tell me off rems and fast that Upon there seem to bow intervene In my brain stay that king And behind there seem me and my team Have another 25 pounds we come in and we smoke it half clean Man a rass now Oh, oh, oh,
and pass, puff and pass, puff and pass. And then me puff and car, puff and car, puff and car. And make me puff and pass, puff and pass, puff and pass. And then me puff and car, puff and car. Puff, puff and pass, puff and pass, puff and pass. And then me puff and car, puff and car, puff and car. I make a profile pass.